Hi, my name is Mike Labatan, Product Specialist with Wonderware NorCal. Thanks for joining us on our video on Introduction to Historian Client Excel Reporting. The Wonderware Historian is the most commonly used real-time plant database in the world. Every day, operators and engineers use historian trends to analyze their processes and it enables them to make better decisions on how to run their plants. But the same data that you view in trend can also be accessed inside of Excel. The Wonder War Historian client includes three tools, Trend, Query, and an Excel add-in called Workbook. This video will focus on getting started with Workbook, the Excel add-in, and Query. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use. The four examples we'll show you are how to do an aggregate retrieval to retrieve an average, how to retrieve 15-minute interval data, and how to retrieve analog statistics with summary tags, as well as do an equipment runtime report. Here we have InTouch which is the market leading HMI. And we have our historian client trend embedded inside of InTouch, very popular. Now what we'll do is we'll take the data here that is coming from the historian and we're accessing in trend, we'll access inside of Excel. So if you have Excel installed on your computer and you install historian client, you'll get a menu called historian. And what this allows you to do is browse your tags just like you would inside of trend. And what we'll do here is Go pick our flow meter. And here we have our flow meter tag now in cell D6. And we'll start off by getting a aggregate value by going to tag values, aggregate values. We're going to select the cell that has the tag name. Click next. And next we will select a blank cell to put our data. And click next. We will do a average and click next. And we'll pick a start time. We'll say today at one o'clock and we'll do a two hour time period and we'll go till three o'clock. And here we have our average between one o'clock and three o'clock. So very easy to start getting statistical information out of the historian. There's our average, our average flow rate. Okay, so next let's do an interval or cyclic retrieval using history values. So we click on tag values and click on history values. We're going to use the cell, same uh, cell D6 that has our tag name in it. And this time we'll use E11, uh, the cell, to put our data in. That's a blank cell. And we will do a wide format table. And notice the available retrieval modes in historian client here. We could do uptime, downtime, we can do totalized flow, min, max averages. Or to start off with here, we are just going to do a cyclic retrieval, which will let us retrieve interval-based data. And since most regulatory reports, they want 15-minute interval data, we'll do value spaced every 15 minutes. And again, we'll just use our previous start time and end time, one o'clock to three o'clock. And here we have 15 minute data pulled out of our historian into Excel very quickly and easily, no training required. Okay, so what about using query to do some statistical retrieval? Let's go ahead and launch direct query from Excel here. So I'm going to click on direct query and click on this query button. This query icon opens up query. So query can be opened up without Excel as a standalone tool. And it's very useful for data mining and troubleshooting. So we're going to start with analog statistic data. And I've got an analog summary tag here I've already created that is doing my 15-minute scheduled statistics. Very easy to create summary tags. We have a tech note if you'd like on how to create summary tags. It only also takes a couple minutes. So we're going to start off by doing a full retrieval. And we will again start at, we'll say, 1 o'clock. And we will look at a two hour period to three o'clock. And then on the columns tab, we can pick the, our start time, our first value, our minimum value, our maximum value, our average, and our totalized flow, which is an integral retrieval. If we click on the SQL tab under results here, we can see the structured query language that makes up our query that we created by just doing point and click criteria, fill in the box here. And all we really need to pay attention to is our result of our data. That's all we really care about. So we don't have to learn structured query language to build our report here. So if we click OK and pick a blank cell, 
Now I've got a 15 minute report and you can imagine if this is a monthly report, how quick that would be to, to create where I can look, look at the timestamp, the value at the timestamp, the minimum in that period, the 15 minute period, the maximum, the average, and the totalized flow in that period. So very easy to, to build a, a daily report or a monthly report against your summary tags here. So lastly, we'll create a equipment runtime report, and we'll do that by going to our tag analysis up here. So tag analysis, and we're going to do a discrete tag analysis report. And we'll just use our system pulse tag. That's a discrete tag. And we'll go ahead and look at, um, we'll say two hours, again, starting at, we'll say 13 o'clock. Click next, click next, click finish. And here we have an equipment uptime and downtime report as it's processing. So I can see the total time off, the total time on, the percent time off, the percent time on, the number of transitions off and on, a graph in a line chart and a bar chart, and the times at when that equipment turned off and on. So again, very quickly, I can look at equipment utilization. So that's really important from a maintenance perspective. How much am I using my motor, my pumps, my critical equipment? When should I do maintenance on them? As well as from a production manufacturing standpoint, if I've got a critical filler and I want to look at how much that filler was running or not running against my schedule time. So I'd like to thank you for joining us for our introduction to Historian Client uh, Excel reporting. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us, webinar at norcal.wonderware.com, or call us at 866-966-3376. My name is Mike Lapitan with Wonderware NorCal. Thanks for watching.